The term emulsion describes a mixture of any two ingredients that don't ordinarily combine. Think of oil and vinegar. The only way to get these two ingredients to appear as one is to break down one of the ingredients into tiny droplets. So let me show you just how to do that. I'm going to take some vinegar, put a few drops in to the oil, cap goes back on, just shake it briefly. There you go. The droplets are so small that they remain separated from each other by the opposing fluid. We've created an emulsion, albeit a temporary one. Now an emulsion is created by physical means, as you can see by shaking, stirring, whisking, or by using the food processor. Most emulsified sauces are unstable and can break. That is, as the sauce hits, the tiny particles would begin to find and cling to each other, eventually becoming larger and larger until the emulsion is no more. A properly made vinaigrette has a uniform color and a thicker consistency than either the vinegar or oil. However, let the vinaigrette set for several minutes and the emulsion will break and you can see now that the vinegar and oil is beginning to separate. Now to better bind the ingredients and slow down the breaking of a sauce, some recipes use an emulsifier such as mustard or egg yolks. Just a tiny amount of either of these ingredients can hold together tablespoons of vinegar and oil. In other sauces, heat is applied to make the emulsions more stable. Think hollandaise, burblanc, or rich bernays sauce. Now one of the most common emulsions is a mayonnaise, and I'm going to show you exactly how that works right now. I'll use a food processor. Its blades move faster than I ever could whisk and virtually make this sauce foolproof. I've also put in a small bowl into my food processor because I'm making a small amount of mayonnaise. So first we'll start by combining the liquid. Now here I'm using lemon juice, but I should say that an oil is not considered a liquid for this recipe. So just lemon juice goes in and I'll add some seasonings. Here I've got salt and sugar. Now for the ever valuable emulsifier. Here I'm using egg yolks. Now I'll put the lid on and just combine these ingredients just for a few seconds. There you go, they're all brought together. So now it's time to add in the oil. And I have the oil in a small measuring cup which is going to make it much easier for me to slowly drizzle in this oil. So I'll turn on the machine, and with the motor running, I'll drizzle in the oil, but it should take about 30 seconds to add this 3 quarter cup of oil. I can see it's starting to come together, and almost all the oil has been added. That's about it. That was making it in a food processor, but you're, if you're making this by hand and you're using a bowl, you're going to be awfully busy. You're going to have one hand that's whisking and the other hand that's adding the oil. So let me give you a tip. You're going to need to steady that bowl. So just take a damp kitchen towel and wrap it right around the bowl, and that's going to anchor the bowl right in. Now, as you're adding the oil, you want to be whisking constantly, at least one to two minutes. If you start to see some oil on the surface that isn't incorporating into the mayonnaise, you can stop and continue to whisk it in. But it's only going to take about 30 seconds of whisking by hand to know and realize why I love the food processor for this job. So let's take a look at our mayonnaise. So the oil's all in, and you can see that the mixture has become incredibly creamy. That's an emulsion. So at this point, you can just adjust the seasonings, adding more lemon juice or salt, pepper, or even fresh herbs if you'd like. So enjoy. It's just that simple.